by screaming. It's going to be to two top five teams battling it out on the SL1's road to Rio. And does too. I'm hoping to see a whole lot more of the same. The same from Al Sports in map one, the same G2 from map. Wait, let me get that right. Yeah, G2 know map one, Mouse Sports map two. You know what I'm trying to say. And we're good, yeah. into the pistol round. Lots of utility for Carrigan and Frozen. Likely going to be seeing those deployed for the cross if they do get that long control, which it does seem they're vying for. Let's get this pistol round started. Well, let's get into it then, shall we? It will be the long take here from Mouse Sports. Flashbang to go over. Three of them to make their way forward and no defense to be spotted. Kenny S will be towards the car position looking for the mid cross. And Hunter just setting him up here. We'll be looking toward long. Hopefully gets himself a couple of headshots and we'll stay alive. And then it must be PG-50s. Yes, for Rob. Superman once again. We saw what he was capable of on train with that pistol. I love this setup here. There's no Molotov to flush that out of Kenny. Hunter at the top of A will be baiting him in. And then we've even got, uh, I think it's Nexa towards mid doors who can spot the cross as well if it does come on through, putting some bullets through the impending smokes, which surely will come on when this hit is called. Okay. So, Kenny really is biding his time here. As soon as he releases that crouch key, he is exposed and takes his shot. That's the Superman down. Kryptonite found. It's Kenny. And he's trying to get back into the site. The suppressing fire from Hunter actually gooshes Chris. Down to 99 and will be finished off. Kenny continuing to challenge on those flashes and it's a massacre. You're pushing long, straight into the long-range pistol, and only Frozen remains. Control taps, get him one, but that round is G2's. Well, there it is, a G2 fending off the long approach. They had no problem whatsoever. Mouse sports did not get a plant, and uh, they will be forced spying in round number two here. We're going to see Frozen with Desert Eagle. And, Chad, we talked about this a few bits and pieces recently. The fact that something's going down to $500 yeah. in these sort of rounds, uh, Mouse sports don't know they're going to. Uh, have you noticed any other trends like that in terms of the econ economics? No, it's still uh, it's still a mix, right? I think it could just be like a team mantra or I not, so. a, a philosophy on yeah, how they best think. To I, I think so too. I know that when I used to play with uh, Azza and Yam, they liked to go for the full force buy in the second round no matter what because they thought, you know, well, let's contest it. This is a very winnable round, whereas I was a bit more of the old school style. I was like, hey, let's take the save. You know, let's get the guns up as Do quick as we can. But th these pistols and the individuals in the server are extremely potent, right? Valve have done a great job of balancing the weapons here to make even rounds like this exciting. Yeah, if your aim's good enough. You can make anything work. And the strat this time looks to be a B pop late. Normally, taps like that can shred a whole team. And Nexus in a prime position. A fresh magazine for Aminate. You can see he decides he'd rather reposition before opting for it. And they're off on the flash. Chris J, he was trying to get well ahead of the pack, but they're also grouped up. And this is a massacre. It's actually not bad at all. There is for G2. They fend off the force by no problem. Not a single bit of damage really inflicted from our sports. And uh, they didn't really fire a bullet. Which way do you think this one's going now that we're on the third, Henry? Oh, I, I always said G2 going into this sure. start, right? I said 2 0 for them, to be honest with you. I said train could be the only difference maker. Dust 2, I've always felt like G2 uh, with Vertigo. They, they should be taking this, no problem. What about you, Alex? You're still. I I'm still erring towards G2, but I would love to see another one of those dominant. Frozen and Rob's performances. This is a, a chance for us to see an amazing all battle between the likes of Woxic and Kenny. We've obviously got some massive aim stars in the server here. Hunter yeah. fantastic with his... Ooh, this is the Carrigan that we love, right? The one that's assertive, the one that's aggressive, the one that finds opening frags. That could be the A bomb site open for business. Yeah, that nade oh. was way too late. And while he was flashed, it works wonders. Kenny from the ramp bides his time and strikes with a quick 3k. Bomb will not be planted. Look at Chris. He's the one with the bomb tucked in on Gandalf. They might assume it's all clear. Next up, is he? Yeah, he's checking his corners. He's making sure no funny business can go down here in the third. And Rops, well, he is really up a creek without any sort of paddle. Only a deagle. He's been found by Amonex. So that concludes 3-0. Off to the starting mark, G2 get the start they need, and Kenny, he could have gone down here. Felt like they had the plate pieces in the right place, but a lovely spray down and the supporting flashes from Nexa and Jax. Yeah, the S stands for Savage. We will see him there spraying them down, no problem whatsoever. The Nines are planned as well, and we will have a 3-0 start for G2. They pulled the AWP out early as well. A couple of MP9s in the mix. I wouldn't mind an upper B push with this sort of setup here. It's a very interesting round, knowing they force one in the second. They're not going to have absolutely everything. Boxic with no helmet, not a huge deal. But where do these MP9s go? Chris J. Oh, this is brave of me. He's, bur he's burning, right? He somehow oh. gets the kill still. Down to 43. I don't know how he's still going strong here, but he gets a second as well. Fantastic work. 
The Flying Dutchman vaults in towards the pit, and now it's a five versus three. Kenny Esther with the orb on the side, but surely nothing left to be done. They have to push up a B out of necessity now. Look how methodical they are, right? The jiggle on every corner. Yep. The buddy sister Alex was talking about. They have wide enough spacing, so they can't find themselves getting a multi-spray down against them. And they might even find themselves in position with enough time left. So if they clear through middle, they clear through cat, it's all been vetted so you can far. You call the Na'Vi play, right? Yeah, and what we saw Astralis do just the other day was when they throw these smokes to cross, they were just putting Molotovs into the site to deny. But with a minute left on the clock, that approach, it won't work as successfully as we saw it go down in the Heretics versus Astralis game just yesterday. Oh, and Kenny waited for that one. Amanek losing his life on the site, forces Nexa further forward. Oh, I, I like kind of like this. Yeah, it looks great. If he can just time it right, Frozen needs his attention to be drawn elsewhere. And it works out through the gap. Foxix only got 4% health. That's nothing. Nexa and Kenny still full <gasps> and healthy. 30 seconds for that bomb to go down. Kenny catches another through the smoke. It's down to Rops. Chris to support with the AWP, but there's nothing he can do with the current angles the CTs have opted for. The smoke is so powerful there, Chris J. He knows it as well, trying to protect Rops the best to his ability, but Rops will swing out. Spots one, Kenny has his drop tier. Now it's just the MP9 on site, but the time is on his side. They still need to plan here. Chris J. Oh, he'll be left in a one versus one. The flashbang as well is absolutely perfect here from Nexa. He's got this round. Oh. No problem. What a fantastic play from Nexa. We talked about his form coming into this series. He's actually been peaking the last three months for G2, and you can see why. That was a very intellectual and calm play, Chad. Yeah, great stuff there, and they dealt with that Na'Vi play. A lot of teams have been having trouble with that recently, right? The four long or five long, what you're seeing there, and then the smokes to cross, it can be very, very stifling. They hold on to a lot of their utility. You, look, we, we gotta go back to the start of that round. Chris J took down two individuals, Jackson Hunter. It yep. looked like nothing. He, he shredded through that long defense. It's the MP9 though, Chad. We've been saying it's pound for pound the best gun in the game and some of the best angles deployed there from Nexa as well. He was Ooh. assisted by his smoke and Kenny S. He'll dish out a bit of damage there towards middle. Wings Voxy down to 17 and they have partially bought Carrigan's into already round. through the doors. My God, Kenny could get caught here if he goes any further. The smoke blooming actually does make things difficult, but not for Chris J who does. Take one of the B defenders down. That's going to force Kenny to spring to life as they look to regroup for a B take. Oh, they just thought about pushing long there. There's two oh, dear. What? We're in. Well, takes one single frag when you can frag like that. Frozen oh. tagged on the doors. Oh. Kenny's already tagged up a couple. That's Voxic and Frozen now with Kenny S bullets <sighs> signed and delivered. They have nades for this retake. They could go for it if they'd like here. Nexa being the only individual surviving in the previous might make them think otherwise, but... They're clearing their coast corners. There's nobody home. Molotov, HE, bunch of flashes. This is possible. Do some nades at least, yeah. Back plat, no longer going to be something to worry about. Chris on Bruicks, they are so low. Jax, oh, if he had won that duel, but by Rops hitting that shot cleanly, that might be the save call. It is, they're backing away. And Woxic, oh. he's taking shots with such low health, he can afford to take the risk. <laughs> Kenny's just trying to keep his hold of his orb. That's Mouse Sports first. Well, of course, it's by the Desert Eagles and the Scouts. It will be Mouse Sports opposed to that first round, and Kenny has to save the AWP, but the hunt is on. It looks like he's fine. I said that with bated breath, and indeed, he will take his all to the next round here. It all comes down to these one digs, though. Chris J kicked things off with a shot towards the window. It was looking like it was quite calm on the CT side, but then Frozen hit this absolute banger towards the platform, and then all hell broke loose. Voxic, as they're retreating as well, took down Hunter. I would have loved a second one dig there as well, but now they're on the board. Pressure is being released, and it might even force out an eco from G2 here. CZ for Hunter, P250s elsewhere. Kenny S has got an AWP, and no one crossing towards B as of yet. They'll put the smoke down and send two over. Kenny towards short. So about $1,000 invested into this round. Nothing much. Made pretty much non-factor. Non just quickly, while it's on the screen for everybody, that B stream game right now, if you want to check it out, refresh within uh, the 27 rounds played is 31 for 14. He How's is he hell? absolutely destroying right now. How's he done that? I don't know. I might have to go back and watch that game. Well, here comes the mid push now from G2. Looking to answer back with the pistols themselves, and it's getting overwhelming for Voxic here. Rops will be there to back him up, but they can get another kill. Kenny S chimes in with the orb. The bomb's gone down, boys. That's towards short. They've got two snipers Ooh. now on the CT side. A minute to play with, and there's no utility for Mouse Sport. This is a pretty equal situation with the orbs out here. Kenny S looks towards the bomb side. They've got a single Molotov to try it's and recover this It's a roll reversal. Spot. Kenny's on short. Carrigan's on A, and he's the one strafing into the short angle. I am... 
so thrown through with this one. Kerrigan's down, tagged by the orb. They're hunting him down. Jax with a P2K. He just wants one more bullet, and he's trying to find it. Does oh, so. Dear. Bomb loose in middle will be finally found by Frozen, but they've got 30 seconds. Amonek's the one locking the mid doors, and they opt for tons, but this is all audible. He can hear this. He can build the picture for the rotate of his squad. Jax and Kenny on orbs. Not ideal. They're going to want to stop this in its tracks, and Amonek's greed does get the better of him. Oh, this kill, though, that comes in. They win the round. Kenny S had to go for it, but Jax hits a miracle shot. They're back in the round now. One versus one. C4 on the ground. Robs has to cross and plant it, but he's going for the high IQ play here, and it works out. He knew that Jax would be encroaching towards the bomb site once he saw the cross, and Robs, he has two sensational plays there. So going from low B, they had 15 seconds. They assumed they'd be running straight towards the site. He actually puts the brakes on, waits for the rotations there. Beautiful play on the first kill then baits out the cross as well willing to challenge knowing he could be rushed down when he's planting the bomb there great shot from jacks but it's the iq from robs that wins the round baited Fragged. oh man nine seconds on the clock as well he either had to plant fight or flight really personified goes for the fight now Spot will be taking the timeout, stabilize after a very hectic round win. Yeah, Im important to talk that one through, or at least just relax for a couple of seconds there, because that was an extremely intense round. They walk away with the second one on the board, and the buy will come through. They're just discussing how they want to make this one happen. Woxic has enough to drop for Chris J if they would like to give him a rifle. That would be a little bit unusual, so... Oh, never mind. There you go. He has an AK. Nades and armor should come behind that. On the other side of things... And he hasn't bought on in yet. There could be something on the floor. Never mind. He's got the AWP. He's got glass cannon. Has one flash with it. Let's get this one underway here. The living spawn. Woxic spotting the cross with the AWP. It's three individuals actually swiftly getting into this NOA stack. We've seen this before from G2. See how it works out this time. Kerrigan looks like he wants to challenge it straight up. Shadow. And slaughtered. They're going to have to get out of that one. They throw a smoke to enable their safe exit. And Voxic, you can see. Ooh. Ooh. Not far off from opening that one up, but Jax comfortable in the corner and supported by Kenny, tries to jump across. Foxy's got Jax locked in. He loves his flash setups. He's pushing on this. Catches Jax oh. and gets the shot. Voxic, stunning. Unfortunately for him, though, his teammates bait the corner. If he gets this one as well. These moves oh. from Voxic are blowing me away. He could take this. A flash now for the cross. Nexa can't contest, he's so hungry for it. Nexa playing passive, where's the other? It's on Amanek, he's coming short. The Molotov will keep him at bay. I love this from Voxic. Yeah, that's one of the sickest little sequences we've seen all day. We are gonna have him making his way towards CD spawn. He's gonna be surrounded. And Nexa will find him in the end, but a remarkable display of skill there. From the Turkish sniper up, stepping up and showing us what he's made up. We will have Voxic oh. posting three. The first kill was cool with a flashman toward the pit. Jax did well to do some damage, but this one was the showstopper. This one blew our minds. Look at him go there. Oh. Jesus. Highest, Face crack. Highest effective DPI in Counter Strike, ladies and gentlemen. 2,400 or around that mark. It's high. Very high does enable him to pull off things unlike any other. Going for the aggressive fight this time, Kenny. Wow, Foxy didn't even get to go around the corner. Look, these are two of the, the quickest sniper players yeah. we have in all of CSGO at the moment going toe to toe. I, I think we could put a lot on these two individuals here. Oh, next with the MP9 again. He strikes, he's cheeky, he gets one. There's an AK dropped on his side of the doors here, but Kerrigan wants to deny that. Pushing forward, Molotov's just to the tippy of his toes, but he does have control. That means he has information here. More smokes and mollies being deployed, but another MP9 from behind the and well, they're pinned. Yeah, the Jackson Hunter push time and time again. They pair up and cause a nuisance. Hello, Amanek. My name's Carrigan, and I'm going to be planting on your site. There's a player towards lower as well. This was a five versus two, but don't write them out of it. Hunt up. He'll be recovering one of the sniper rifles here and it's actually trying to take a little. So Carrigan, no utility, same story for Rops. Rops will have to go for the big backstab here from lower B eventually. Carrigan can only hold the door for so long. Smoke's perfect for tunnels. Does lock out the support and Carrigan was such a tall task. Does catch Kenny. Rops has got another. This could work out. Rops left to clutch and so close. Damn, Jax's triple is just too much for them to handle, but that 2v4 comes down to a 1v1. Great effort there, Robson Carrigan. 
Even with a bit of mistiming there on the position, they managed to come back and bring it right down to the one versus one. One more bullet from Rocks would have done it as well. This is the opening pick. Look at how Kenny S is screen here. Dodging the flashbang. Oh, even more half blind as well. He's more than ready for a very quick Chad's dead on. This is going to be an excellent battle. If both snipers turn up, which looks likely right now, they both peaked early on in the dust too. We should have some fireworks at the mid stages there. Oh, it'll be the force by back from Mouse Force. The Tech Nines are out. We are loving what we're seeing. It makes the game a little bit quicker. Yeah, absolutely. Dust too. It's certainly welcomed. I saw the CIS stuff had a lot of Tech Nine action. Kick it with a very stunning Tech Nine 4K. Good to see it starting to actually convert into some multi kills. We've seen glimmers of the Tech Nines old school capabilities, but yet to see them really converted in the same fashion used to be and i mean especially with an ak this seems like a perfect buy we'd make jokes that this was a full buy at times but sometimes better than a full buy it certainly <laughs> doesn't feel that way anymore a touch of uh balance well, this, this looks like it's just going to be the A set piece, right? They have that AK and Waxic hands. They have enough utility here to pull this one off. And when dropping down with these Tech Nines, as soon as they get range on Kenny mid long, this would be great. You've got all those flashes designed to stop oh, Kenny what? doing that. And he's got another one as well. Crossing, desperate to plant safely. And I think Frozen could be knocked off his perch because Hunter's swinging in, and he has. No bomb plant, mouse sports, it's a mission failed this time. Yeah, Robs will have, oh my god, the level of shots we're seeing right now, Chad. They're, they're, everyone's Everyone. looking sharp and they're peaking right now. This is looking excellent. Round 10, a lot more to go as well. And just the sheer amount of skill is impressing me. Yeah, this is the thing with the international teams, right? We know how star stuff they are because they were built as an international team because, well, there's not enough players in their own country to make one that they're happy with. So we know that these have to be some of the best players going toe to toe right here and well the 7-2 scoreline I feel like the game it feels closer than what's being reflected right yeah. here Orps back out for Woxic no smoke this time he's gonna take down Kenny that's a heads up duel right there and back across oh. the door he tags Hunter <laughs> he's got the Nova shotgun probably won't be challenging with that once again wants to try and grab the orb if possible which he will best weapon for him considering he's been tagged here but Rob seems to have the information that he could be low he'll be oh, sneaking out he's definitely killed Hunter takes him a while but he gets there in the end and Carrigan well he'll be dropped as well Looking to answer back. Oh. Amanek, the perfect flash, but it catches him slightly as well. And it's going to be man advantage still for Mouse Sports as the rotations come through. Next there towards Spawn. He'll actually be going through this. Does he catch him with the window? Not quite. So close. He'll have Jackson toe here, but Frozen patrolling towards middle. Spotted. And presumably gets this kill. He's got the advantage of the weaponry, but it all comes down to the aim. Next up. Will be dropped oh. momentarily, not before he gets a quick kill. He can actually defuse it. If he gets pushed A here, there might have been a chance he gets to defuse him with the back of the bomb type plan there and the other player leading towards tunnels it could have been something a lot more interesting but still mouse sports managed to win out the round seven three and the money is pretty low on the ct side why did hunter only have a shotgun to kick off that round i did don't I, did know. I miss something there i don't know because they won the previous round right so why would he have a nova shotgun maybe a miss by it has to be there's no on dust two there's no way you're even considering a nova shotgun no, there's no scenario you've got mp9s available why would you ever get that yeah i'm just trying to think You'd want to auto shotgun if you were close up a dark. Yeah. You'd want to auto. Actually, Definitely wouldn't want to know. You'd probably want to auto shotgun no matter what you were doing, right? Yeah. So, must be a miss buy. And now they have to talk through the next round buy here. It is the first tactical timeout from G2 Esports. Or no gamers stranger too. To, to burning through. They loved being called oh, gamers too. Sure. Yeah. yeah, it's their favorite. <laughs> Just like the 100 thieves. I think we're going to get a memo soon. That's Chad, fine. So. They can send the memo. Unfortunately, they don't control the words coming out of my mouth. Yeah, but the ESL might do. That's true. <laughs> so, probably for the best. <laughs> Next up, Desert Eagle, CZs. Bang. And we will see the shots over. Nothing connecting just yet. And the incendiary Ooh. down. Chris J. Oh, he does do well to get to this ramp and pit position, but no kills to be found just yet. It takes a lot of confidence to just keep your crosshair on the floor. Oh. Woxic this time getting tagged up. Was that with the CZ? I'm not sure. There was a couple of players close mid doors there. Carrigan's going to deal with one of them. Gets traded out by Kenny. This is a little bit worrying right now for Mouse Sports with the low HP of Woxic. He wants to smoke off that T position so that he can cross to the tons and it's worked out wonderfully for them. Kenny trying to keep Woxic guessing and oh, he has managed to recover the AK and get back. Nice move from Kenny. They do put a lot of weight on poor old Amanek. For now, he's solo holding B with a P2K in tons, but it's it's enough. That's the right call as well. They have two flashes yeah. in Jax's hands. Next, so the one with Kevlar has been given the AK-47. This is looking great. Smokes for the cross. 
Chris responsible for one, Voxic the other. And this is their cue. A flash from Jax, next to Peak with the AK. It looks promising, but he's getting tested. Voxic actually tagged him, clipped him through the box, that supportive AWP has yet to convert the frag, and now he's playing passive, waiting to catch Frozen in this off angle. Good damage. 3v3, it is still not comfortable for our sports. Yeah, the bomb's not even close to the side now. Rob's have to try and recover it. This is turning into a bit of a nightmare oh. now. Boxing pulls one back, and he's the last player remaining with 14 points of health. He's just hoping the CTs will make a mistake here, but they've done enough. 10 seconds, he wants to be falling back here, if possible, to be honest with you. Can't even plant the bomb, and it will be Kenny has to find the final kill, recovering the sniper rifle. That's going to be a partial by victory for them as we see it go 8-3. to three. Mouse Sports now, they'll be the ones to on the financial burn, but Carrigan and Frozen at $3,500 respectively. Well, they're straight in. They're, they're not messing about. Back 10s. I guess like, Mouse Sports, if you want to have Inferno, they do like those faster picks, and maybe they've got some set pieces here with the Mac 10s maybe some CT spawn dives coming in from short. They're close to breaking the money of G2 yeah. as well, right? So that's probably one of the factors here leading into these buy scenarios because G2 would only get 1,400 as soon as they lose a round. Lots of flashes towards long to sell the fake. That's also going to bait out a lot of utility, but it looks like it wants to be a B pop here. These Mac 10s could be perfect for this, but there is a low. Everybody has had armor in play right now. Every single one of them prepared for the potential. They're founding SMG into B. Five members of Mouse are about to barrage into Amanex Crosshair. Let's see how he handles it. And he was expecting the flash as he ends up just getting humiliated. Staring at the wall, Kenny. He's looking oh, for more, and what? this is phenomenal stuff. Holding the wolf from the door with an AWP of all weapons. If he finds another one, man, I th I, he's, he's already gone above and beyond. Flashes. Looks like he wants some more. Rops is on those close boxes. He does drop in, and Kenny, he's doing it all! Oh, oh, it's Kenny, yes, on. baby! Never forget the name. Four kills. He finds G2 the ninth by force. Beautiful stuff from Kenny. Two players survive here, and that's going to be back-to-back -back rounds for them. Remember on the CT side here of Dust2 as well, and Mouse Sports are getting blown out the water. Now, friend Sniper keeps on delivering on all fronts here. This second show is just beautiful. Straight to the dome. Carrigan didn't see it coming. Look at the movement go as well. And, of course, pulls out the Desert Eagle, makes it extra snazzy to close things out. Goodbye, Frozen. And it will be a very difficult scenario now for Mouse Sports. Normally finding success in the T-sides. Definitely need his last three rounds. 21 frags for Kenny S. We are in round 13. That I'll is let you wild. do the maths. This is a performance often attributed to the carry of the squad. And he's back to his old role. He's hitting everything. Go on. Just oh. dunk him. He does. He completes it. It's perfect. Perfect. He's not missing, is he? Not at all. 5v4. Fire in the server. The thing is, Woxie can't even afford an AWP to contest him. There's not enough money right now to make that a possibility. And just like that, Kenny S has delivered the advantage and he wants more. Oh, he sees his toes. No way. Chris J has caught one. He's surely aware of a second chance in Kenny's <laughs> aggressions. Not far off from being rewarded again, but that overextension has given Mouse Sports a chance to exploit the gap. Tapping away, Frozen does find the partnered aggressive push. But it's the man advantage from our sports now with a three versus two. Carrigan. He's starting to push it forward short, but Jack denies the access for Chris J. Down. That's the bomb. That's short as well. This is actually a bit of a nightmare now. So Carrigan will grab it and just get the hell out of there. He does take down the player towards Xbox. I mean, they got a huge advantage there. It's a fair play to Carrigan. He gets a stunning kill. Rob's trying to back him up from He's CT been hurt. spawn. He de definitely has, but the bomb is going down. So he knows one towards CT spawn. The other's on the side, the incendiary. It won't be enough to get the kill, but certainly makes him uncomfortable, and he knows exactly where Rops is. Bear that in mind. Didn't quite anticipate Rops to be continue the push, perhaps, because caught mid-air. It's Mouseport's fourth. This was how the round started, though. Kenny, Voxy doing all of the movement tricks to glide across as fast as he could, but no Xbox smoke, and Kenny exploits that. This yeah. was the Chris frag on the aggression. Curious push, isn't it? Uh, a weird one. But we've hit a couple of those, and now the money is broken. So Jax can drop one. Kenny can buy. G2 Esports should probably think better of this here. The problem is 1,900 going into the next round. 
maybe drop some deagles from Jax and then see if you can have two competitive rounds back to back as opposed to going for the full eco on all your individuals right now. This could easily be a 9-6 half, which Mouse Sports will be more than happy with. Yeah, I think you would be dead on. I think taking eco here is not the end of the world. You can definitely get some deagles out with the 6k on Kenny S and Jax, but they might just be looking to get absolutely everything in terms of a double up setup going forward. So they're not really going to invest much at all. Just one desert eagle. This PD thousands, PD 50, and that's about it. We are going to see Jax push up towards top middle. A lot of damage there inflicted at the start. It's going to be opening down to 47. Pushing towards up a B, though. Rob's take a bullet to the face. Next, it should be trying to convert that. He does manage to get a bullet off, but it's not quite enough. He'll have to fall back now as Carrigan starts to find the headshots required. It's going to be four players versus two. Nexa and Huntel are just the default weaponry. Hunter's been quiet, hasn't he? I guess he hasn't had to do a lot. Kenny's been doing it all. Yeah, true. With that one good round from Nexa on the A bomb site with the MP9 in hand, he's going to go down any second, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Shell finished off with the glue, and here we go. The final round of the first half of the third map of the second series of day number 11. There you go. I've been listening to you, Alex. Smashing it. One final round. Get this one towards those double digits. G2 do not have the dream buy to get it there, though. Hunter, 3,400 before investment. All lying on the floor. Voxix happy to take that one for a spin, trying to bang Kenny on the cross, but he opts to take the passive stance for now. Quite the opposite for Frozen. He's actually managed to get himself set up on the blue bin, but he's got nobody with him. This is a completely solo venture. It's going to be very difficult to get out of this one. He's just hoping to get one kill at this stage, but... Molotov is actually pretty spot on. So is Voxix Vision. Doesn't connect the shot yet. Kenny S continues that strong form as they lock horns. It will be Voxix answering back through the door there. Four versus four. Frozen still at two HP. Alnek silence them for the back. Not clear as to where they finish up. But the bomb is down in the tunnels for now. As they wait for the reactionary play towards long. Jacks by the double doors and Frozen starts to peel off. Just as they go in. <laughs> He's going to get caught, isn't he? Yeah, just as he leaves. It's a nasty fate. Voxic's still in middle. If they go T spawn, he will be vulnerable if he doesn't hurry his ass up. They're boosting over the smoke. A silent dismount, not quite. Hunter may have heard that. Amonex waiting as well. A single flash from Hunter, but it looks like it'll just be bullets and perfect. Look how calm he is under that push. Just Voxic remaining, and this is going to be the final round of our first half, and it's double digits for G2 here, looking excellent on Dust2, but Mouse Sports have got enough to keep those...
Well, we're straight into the action here. We'll be kicking this second half off with a bang. Boxing looking towards T spawn and trying to find the opening kill if possible. They'll be on the CT side now. They've got two HD grenades. That's between Carrigan and Frozen as Jax. He'll be taken out towards Long. Tries to crack it open by himself. And now Chris J, he's probably got a frag available at this very same point. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Don't see many pistol rounds like this, but uh, it is going to be a four on one as quick as you like. Oh, that was fantastic work. Makes it look so easy when you don't have to even adjust the USP. Your crosshair doesn't need to move. Oh, he's gotten away with this. He gets a free kill at doors here if he clears out Carrigan. Gets to pick up a HE. That could come in handy as the late page of this round. Never mind. Frozen too aware from the window. <laughs> Carrigan's like, oh, he's there, was he? <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, <laughs> saved him. So, uh, will we see the EK or the Force Buy, I should say, from G2 here? I would say probably not. You might just want to get AKs out in the third and guarantee the round in terms of having advantages and not requiring to steal one away. But this is beautiful for Robs. Just tapping them off one by one. You can see he wasn't really flashed or any smokes were down. Just trying to trade him out. Didn't work out. And they are going to have Glocks across the board. Just a flash port purchase here. Going to try and use that Xbox smoke potentially. And get themselves towards the A bomb site. So the smoke was actually down towards middle. And gonna go for the A approach. Frozen. Run That's gonna do about a thousand damage. <laughs> <laughs> There's his utility damage stat inflated. And they're on <laughs> top of his head. Voxic, the stepping stone for the descent, doesn't go too far with just the clocks. We were really on top of him. <laughs> one, 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 one. <laughs> Shouldn't I be in spawn right now? Yeah. What, what, what? This angle looks different. What's going on? <laughs> So AK-47, this is what G2 wanted to the full eco in the previous round, enabling him to get AKs, smokes, flashes, and armor. Don't have the sniper rifle, but Boxer only has a scout here, so I'd say advantage G2 in terms of their weaponry in general, and they're pushing up towards middle. Ooh. I don't mind it at all. The scout will tell them that one was challenging. You've got a free route up towards top of middle. Kenny S misses the shot. He'll have to fall back here and call for some backup from next up. Hunter will join him from lower B as well. Robster seems to be doing a whole load of damage Whoa. here, but Hunter will... Repost Jan managed to bring it back to a four and three. Well, they should be aware of the regular CT setup for mouse spots in place. So taking down Rops, who's traditionally a B holder, that's a lot of free info. And two kills to kick it off here. So G2, they're retooling. They think better of going into the B bomb site. And it's not bad considering Woxic has now positioned himself on that platform. They're going to regroup. This is the fundamental type of counter strike you like to see. With the number advantage, walk into a bomb site together and trade out. Now there is a little bit of low HP on Hunter. Kenny at about half. But now it's Mousebot's turn to go walk about. You've got Frozen now clearing out throughout the tunnels. That's going to be the early warning system. Now Woxit can actually rotate across towards CT spawn to cover off long. They're going to be here in time. Two Molotovs in play, two smokes. We already saw what G2 could do when they had that type of utility in the top of the A bomb site. Ooh. Worried about Cat. That Molotov could have been used somewhere a little bit better. And now the hit, well, it's going to come in any second. Good smoke. Let's <sighs> play around it, but a gap in there. There's a second to come. So the AK have frozen the flashbang from Voxic. Carrigan has been set up for the big spray down here, but he catches the flash himself. He's got that first kill on Hunter. There's 10 seconds remaining. It's going to be down to Nexa to try and get the plan down. I don't think he's got a chance here. Carrigan's done so well, and he manages to get all the kills required. Four in total, and Mousewatt's right back in this map now. 10 to 8, and money is shattered on the G2 side. Do you see the difference in the way that like Na'Vi would do their own type of strat versus the way that other teams do it? Now, obviously, this wasn't G2 going straight into it because it would have been a long rush, right? They would have used all the flashes, they would have got long control, they would have secured that, and then they would have had multiple sets of smokes to throw and bait out the nades from the players over there towards the top of the A site. But Mouseports, with a nice aggressive move early, didn't net them any kills, well, one kill, but they were actually finding themselves down in the number advantage and turned it around. So that's great stuff here as G2 are back down onto these pistols. A couple of flashbangs, some deagles. So just a couple of flashes, that's it. Haven't seen much towards B from G2 yet, but quite early days here in the second half as they go towards short again. Maybe one flash to bit has some utility, then a second to try and get across, but it's never going to lead them to massive success. If the bomb goes down, that's a bit of a victory in its own right, but you never know. A couple of quick one digs, a couple of missed shots, and that's the first. Potentially a couple. 
One heroic Deagle shot would have perhaps got that bomb down. Maybe it still can, but no. Carrigan and Frozen far too good. Good taps away from Kenny, chipping away at Carrigan's HP, but he'll recover the AWP and live to take it into the next. So completely and totally competitive second half, it seems, as Mouse Sports do fly out of the gates with four consecutive defensive rounds. Both orbs out now. Kenny's picked up his big green. Walks has been dropped his back across. So this is where we uh, can get into the thick of it. The meat and potatoes. The red beans and ravioli, as some might say. The pesto and the linguine. Oh, Kenny. Challenged by Voxic. And, well, that will be the upgrade for Chris J. He was uh, the vulture, ready to pick up the bones of his fallen comrade. He'll be taking that orb to support over to the B site. So rather divided at this point, CT's... Trying to fill that gap. It's Frozen who pays off with his reposition. He'll silence any mid-pressure and lock them out with the molly. It's four and four for now. Great shots being exchanged here. Mouse Sports certainly have closed the gap with his second round or second half pistol victory. Rob's actually finding the confidence of pushing towards up. He's got the AK-47 available as well. And he's shooting for the moon here. Going to be committing towards lower as well. And Jax is aware of that. But if... Carrigan starts to throw some grenades here. Could be enough, but they come a little bit too late. And they're going to swing off this as well. Jax, can he find double kill? He certainly can. Frozen now will be alone towards A. And three terrorists towards long. He has no grenades, but he has got brutal aim. Smoke down. Can't find anything just yet. He catches a face with a flash and lead. Yeah, I should put Chris J on notice. Flames to stop him. And Nade not quite going to do much. He will... Just tickle Nexa, and I think that's all he plans to contribute with the AWP on his back, realizing it's a powerful weapon. There's only one player that can't buy right now, so it makes a lot of sense. You can see this will be number one for the G2T campaign. First of many, they'd like to think. 25 kills for Kenny Esther at the very top. Hunter, Chad, he caught it out earlier. Yeah. He hasn't really had much of an impact on a, a map he normally shines on. I think Mouseports are lucky he's not activated right yeah. now because if he was hitting heads in that uh, Kovac style that we get to see, is it Kovac? Kovac, I yeah. I think it's Kovac. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm only going from because the guy from Altered Carbon. Had that's, the, where, that's what I just thought as soon as I said it. As, as Nico. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's how you say it. I didn't like season two of that. I started watching oh, I a little it. bit of it. I, I just like, finished uh, it off. It, I really struggle to get into TV shows, it's very sci fi to just be invested in this bloody video game. I can't believe the other night I found myself, after we got home, watching Harry play a pug for the better part of an hour. I thought, it's a good am, pug, though. What am I doing? It's fun. Great game. One of the best of the week. <laughs> you guys checked your hours in Counter-Strike in the last two weeks? Uh, I haven't. Mine's, at, mine's back at a level that I, I would have been at when I was a professional. Yeah. That's the problem. You're DMing every morning. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, uh, get the rustiness off the back. Yeah, I play like every other day right now, so I don't think mine would be insane. Mine's probably about like 40, 50. I'm up at 100 say. plus. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, you play more than me. You actually warm up a deathmatch. But uh, I don't know. When we finish late, I just I feel like this is not a Counter-Strike day. You're right. That's why I'm just doing the DM, because yeah, it can be the, like therapeutic the in a way. day shift next week, I'm going to be getting a lot of CS on the grind there. You finish the, finish the shift, go home. You've got a good four-hour window to frag. Double orbs for the CTs, Voxic and Chris J. After the preserving one of them, it enables them to bring them all out. Mouseport's in pursuit of double digits. Is Voxic really trying to challenge Kenny again? He is over the smoke. This has been quite the head-to-head uh, -head down the by the double doors. It was Chris J this time that was having a go. We need a Chris J impact round. We haven't had one uh, so far in this series. We've had a lot of Carrigan entries. We've had a lot of Carrigan moments with him getting multi-kills. Normally, we uh, when the chips are down, see a Chris J moment. Over the top. Oh, couldn't convert. That's Hunter. We were talking about him being quiet. That's a big kill. And they're fully committed towards long as well. Carrigan knows he's going to be painted to a corner. The flashbang is effective. At least gives him one kill here. You can see the smoke on the corner. You take the vision away from the bomb side as well as Chris J. They'll be battling towards middle. A lot of action across the map here. Ultimately leads us to an equal situation though. And Chris actually pushing in towards upper. Trying to find some information there. They're actually heading through T spawn. So they actually could go really around the wall play. Frozen will find the AK. Let's smoke down towards Xbox. Oh, this is perfect. Chris is hard on the flank. He's running. He's holding W here. So he's taking a lot of room. If they go up short as well, he, he can kill them in the back. In the back. This would be quite the set of kills. Timing doesn't seem to favor him here, though, as he's going to be 
Checking the long, it's Foxic who should get this. He's actually pushing oh. in and tested, not traded as he finds a sliver gap to exploit Nexa. Kenny now thrust into a one versus three. The bomb is nowhere near him and he just going to be residing himself to keep hold of that AWP. Chris J's waiting for his exit. He's trapped. Can't go towards A, can't leave long doors. He's going to have to make this his home. They'll let him hold on to it. A charitable donation here from Mouse Sports. Yeah, only five seconds remaining, so he's absolutely fine. They start to realize that they've got the round of the remap. Kenny has a bit of a down tip, and he will be absolutely fine to survive. They've got one more buy left in the tank as current things stand. Kenny has to have to reinvest in the grenades, but Foxy, check this out. He goes that shot, doesn't even go for the quick scope here. Ready for the second player to swing out, and it's very calm. He was never going to give that one up. Very confident. Good showing from Voxen so far, but need to see a bit more out of him and they're going to bring this game back. 11-10, and currently 5-1 in favor of Mouse Sports. If you look at the second half and his CT side, there's been something in the water this week with CS boys. Normally we're always saying it's a T side, a momentum uh, across a lot of maps, but today it's been a strange story. Maybe this is the slow fallout of the removal of the Krieg. Slowly Could CT be. sides are yeah. no longer scared to take the same fights that they kind of condition themselves to be afraid of. Yeah, the AWPers are more than happy to swing right. now. You can see they're actually getting a little bit more uh, aggressive within those mid rounds. Yeah, I'd say that's what it could be, to be fair. Like the Greek shift certainly does have uh, a certain fear factor attached to it. And now the AWP is looking a bit more confident. We're seeing some more jewels being taken, a bit more aggression. So that could be it. We'll see. A lead from Kenny S down towards top of middle, looking for the quick challenge, but no one there to receive it. Two towards B. They focus their efforts towards long with the Molotovs down. It's actually a straight up B rush at this point. Mac 10s have broken through. Chris J to be te tested, and Rops now, he's got the first one. I think he'll struggle to get Hunter. They've got the B side now. And Kenny's caught one on the rotate. This oh, oh no! A no. missed smoke, but Kenny does not miss the wow. shot. That looks unhuman. What's he do here? He's gotten across. He has a bunch of nades. He's undetected by Kenny right now. They know he was in spawn, but will they be ready for this? Smoke him, but use it. Needs one kill. They might think he's saving because he did have the AWP. So if they take their eyes off the prize here, Smoke. he's the only player close to the bomb. Back the the steps and. With the flash as well. He still managed to prevail, but will he preserve? Looking to head back to spawn and Kenny. He's not done hitting shots this round. He adds his 28th to the tally with a banger through the doors. Oh, big round from Kenny S there. 12 to 10. Mouse Sports will have to assess their finances. This doesn't look good. Maybe a tactical timeout just to slow things down a little bit here. But this was the fast B approach. Force by from G2, managing to find Kenny S there towards middle. Even with a misspoke. How does he hit that shot? So fast. And then, of course, the headshot through the door as well to close things out. Remarkable scenes. Oh, that's a game from Kenny and a half right now. Rops will get tagged on up. Oh, they've actually got a tag of their own in Kenny! here. Kenny, he's trying to get away. He's dropped the smoke, <laughs> head down. Oh, well, he's so alive. scary. And Rops is there with his tags down to 10. And he's got two with it. That Deagle could very well keep this round competitive. Mouseport's brought nothing into this. Amanek crawling them back to a level playing field, but they've already got the rotate in. Oh, I like this from Chris J spamming the door to enable Frozen to sneak through. Did Frozen get a weapon? I don't think so. So it's Desert Eagle and Scout. They're both outside B, but there is low health for Kenny here. The flashbang, is it going to be enough? Frozen doesn't think so. Kenny S will get oh, him through sorry, the door. What? Straight up headshot. Huh? What is going on? The shot's landing right now. Kenny... Well, I, I can't even put this into words right now, the, the shots that he's hitting. This is an absolute masterclass. He has 30 frags. How often do you see that wall bang actually pay off through B doors? That that was quite the catch. Let's see this one again. Positions himself with the car and straight into the head of Frozen. There you have it. 13 then. Found off the back of a, a 30 bomb being dropped with a frag through the door. And another timeout, the final one for G2, a chance to catch their breath and ensure that the game plan is concrete for the three they require. This is their, what is it now, third round total on their T side. They came into this with a 10-5 half, so Mouse Sport still dominating in the grand scheme. It's 5-3 to three half, if you want to think about it that way. They have B spawns again, if uh, anyone's curious about that. They're not facing towards B right now, but they definitely have the spawns for it. So, final few rounds of this second matchup of the day. 
G2 versus Mouse Sports. And the latter certainly need this series to go in their favor, or they'll be right down to the final details to work out whether they make it through to the playoffs. And a double up set up here for G2 on the T side. See if any damage is inflicted. Amanek won't be joining Kenny S for the initial play. Goes towards lower. And Jax is not set out towards long. So there is a full buy here. Chris J down to the Deagle, as you'd expect. But this time out of necessity, he has fully invested in the round. And they're going for a short play. Carrigan. He'll be waiting with the M4 on the corner. What has he got? A smoke to be deployed here. I think they bust through this. He'll have to drop off. 30 out. If they are not letting go of W. Look at this. He's got no Hunter's idea. way ahead of the scope. He's in Gandalf. He's still not got the frag. Finally, he will exploit the Woxic Orb. Amanek's holding the flank. He nearly adjusts in time, but rocks and frozen. Their whereabouts are now known. And G2, they can plant safe. Yeah, oh, nice. they're planning for long. Nice long plan coming through. There, there shouldn't be a world where they give this one up. But you never know. Kenny S jumps up. Does spot one towards CT spawn. Takes quite a lot of damage through his troubles, but he's recovered. One kid available, but that smoke would have to be beautiful from Robs, and there's a backstab coming in as well. Jax, regardless of how his teammates get on here, should be able to close things out. There's no time to consider this flank coming in. As soon as he takes down Frozen, call the round done, and there it is. They know the last was see, last seen CT, and Jax did find him in the end. So that's the 14th for G2, a triple kill from Jax to get them across that line, and two more for the series. Third map, second series of the day. So, no money, Henry. This is what I was just about to get into, Chad. What's the play at this point? They've used a lot of tactical timeouts. Money's not great, and we do see some Desert Eagles being purchased. Carrigan with his one smoke of flashes. They'll be using those towards double doors. That's to be deployed now, and they're going for a long stack. So, oh, it might pay off here. Them towards long, but have they even got grenades? Like, sure, they'll be able to challenge, but Hunter's got a great flash. He's got a Mac 10, and I think he gets dropped here. Oh, two kills. The USPs, they've struck. Yeah, I never like these sort of plays from the low buys around. You can see them starting to flounder somewhere here, trying to get the weapons out of the CT's grass. Still a three versus four, but a MAC-10 has been recovered from Chris J. Beautiful flash there. And Jax will find the opening towards B. That could win the round. Oh, so could that, though. Chris J with the MAC-10 does pull one back. Frozen six HP, Carrigan. He rotates towards B now. Real awkward round now for G2. I think they've still got it in them. And oh, oh, my bomb. God, Frozen. He'll take the AWP to make that 6 HP less of an issue. The bomb is in his hands, and he can find Jax as well. It started with USPs, but it finishes with Frozen and Chris both finding two kills. Chris will take the Impact Player Award. Let's see that again. This is Frozen pushing towards spawn and dropping the bomb, essentially winning the round. Amazing timing there from Frozen. The fact he gets the AWP as well. Look at the awareness. Look at all those double doors just sitting and waiting. He knows the kill's coming to him. The bomb's down in T spawn, bear in mind. And Jack's got that previous kill towards the B bomb site. Couldn't have gone any better for him. And a full eco is converted to a gun round at this point. Wow, look what that's done. Double Suddenly as well. Straight back in. Competitive double orping. So free cat control here. You can see mouse bots, they're more than happy to give it up with a double op set up. That makes sense. Flash around the corner. They will get control. And this is where we might see the rally of nades back and forth. Do mouse bots feel like they're under threat? Do they think an attack's coming? Or do they want to hold on and try and stifle the execute as they cross the bridge? We can see three players set up towards the cat position. One late lurking through middle. The bomb now has just been picked up towards the back of cat on Nexa. So I don't think anyone will be going through the long position. And the CTs are isolated. Two on the B-bomb site, three towards A. Smokes and flashes coming through. Here we go. The it need. is the old classic, boys. G2 trying to find number 15, but the grenade is everything frozen. He's oh. been so great as of late. Look at the damage he's just pushed out there. G2 have the limping towards the A side now. Frozen, surely he's done enough, but he's taking some HE damage himself. Frozen up with a flashbang, and he knows he's done damage at this point. Just needs to line them up, knock them down, and there's the first kill. Boxing with the wall bang. The next hit gets the plant. That's a big step in the right direction. Frozen's going to try and use that smoke to his advantage, try and nutmeg Nexa here. But oh dear, I can feel oh, that was no. coming. I can no. see it. Boxing shut down, frozen with a shot oh. through the smoke. This could get awkward. Kenny 
does advance towards the CT position, and Carrigan catching another. Mouse spot. this retake's working out wonderfully. Jax to clutch, position is good for him. He's trying to find a frag before they get onto the bomb, very actively taking that duel. He would have liked perhaps a little more passive nature. I guess he knew with two left, if one gets on it, the other's gonna hold him. Yeah, as soon as they get set up with the AWP, he's, he's screwed, because right? He's, he's so cooked. he felt that he had to make a bit of a risk right there. But I'm not quite sure how Woxic even hits that shot. Most players should be having uh, the, the utility above their teammates' heads on right now. So you should see where they are yeah, at all times, it, right? right? You can see the, almost there exactly where they are. The nameplate comes up and shows you where they are. So just uh, a bit frantic, I guess. It does drop off a range, um, that, that distance where you can see the nameplate. So true. maybe that was it. Might be the max could have disappeared. Um, but uh, I don't know. Bit of a weird one, but still, it will be G2 giving the round up. Mouse Sports find it. So the Mac 10s are here. CZs as well. It's so a bit of a partial here. A full eco loss into a team kill potential loss puts G2 suddenly down to the eco and a, a single Mac 10. It's dire straight at the real business end of this series. Good flash. Frozen's going to be very passive about tucking in and Foxix set up for success. Looks pretty damn good. Looks like we'll have a quick one here. Only Kenny. Can't really do too much. He'll be spotted out by Chris and Connect. Four left standing in that one. They'll get their little pistol upgrades and we're into another buy. Round 28. G2. I've given out three here, but still with the lead, 14 to 13, a very healthy buy here. So no alarm bells just yet. Looking for series points. And a dust two, I would probably give the favor to them if I saw this matchup in paper, but that sport's putting up a very admirable fight here. So it'd be Kenny S rattling off the shots at the start. Hunter trying to make his way out, and he does avoid at least the initial death, but the flames are down. He'll be lucky to do any damage here. It takes Frozen under 48, and that's been a very common outcome in the last few. Back to what's short. I think there's another execution. Just it worked out to bring a close run in before. Same smokes, and they've only got one smoke actually available to them. So they can do the catwalk smoke, flash over, and just hope for the best. It has to be a hell of a flash, and they need to hope Boxy misses the shot here. It's not something he's been doing much of. Smoke down. And here comes the flash. Next ray off, so you can appreciate this a little better. Frozen does manage to pick off Amanek on the site, so very little for Voxic to worry about. Just that close push. Nexa at, at least gets the bomb down. But Frozen's not going to last or let Kenny last much longer. Now Nexa thrust into a one versus five. So many angles of assault. He's got to worry about long, and there is one there too. And now it's Rops to convert. He'll find it, but Frozen, another multi-kill round from him to pull Mouse Sports to the equalizer. Should we start overtime now, or do you guys want to wait until they actually get there? Well, let's wait to see who gets the map point first, because G2's money's not great. If they do win the round, and only one player survives, I'll be in a lot of trouble. So they might not even be able to get to overtime if they win this round. Oh, that's a bleak picture you've painted. Yeah. So they have to win, but they have to win it cleanly as well. An extra yes. caveat. So that's the problem. So Mouse Sports... They will have the advantage for now, but let's see what happens here. The good B spawn is found at G2. Their long play hasn't been fantastic in the last few. Oh, the shot towards Kenny. It does connect, and we will see him boost it up there towards middle. And in they go. Fast. In towards the mid-double doors. Vox to defend. And he has spotted one. It worked. I mean, it pulls three CTs towards mid-doors, and... Admittedly, Kenny didn't quite manage to find the victory. So now Mouse Sports working with a man advantage already. You said it had to be a clean victory to even consider the G2 success story here. And now Vox has kind of got them on lock and key. Yeah, even if they lose the round, as long as they get a bomb down, that's a level full buy. So that's very specific to winning the round. But yeah, for sure. Not looking good on a five on four. Three smokes. Couple of mollies now, and a man disadvantaged. They've lost their danger player as well in the form of Kenny S. So Jax trying to work out where they're positioned. It's so strange to see one of the biggest strengths of G2 go absolutely missing here. Hunter, when they would ply him into those places like going out fast long to get an opening kill, normally you'd expect him to nail two. Here today, he's been really kept honest. The mid to B smoke will come out. They're going back towards Catwalk again, Henry. It hasn't looked great. It hasn't really. And they've at least got the, the smokes this time. But the problem is, Jeb, no flashbangs here, right? So how do you even get the orb to 
remove his scope from that area. It's going to be, that's what it's all about, is having those flashes in position, but another good grenade lands. Carrigan caught out of position, but the flashbang is solid. The shot's better, though. Voxic now can look towards long, and that might be enough. Three versus two, 10 seconds remaining, it is. Yep. There's no way they can get that bomb down. Yeah, he's just hoping he can get something, but another multi-kill round for Frozen. Voxic as well, between the two of them, they find the 15th, and Mouse Sports, they are set to convert in regulation. G2 a little broken here, Hank. No bomb planted there. So you can see this is actually like the worst case scenario at this point. So you didn't get map point. You didn't get the bomb down. You've got maximum loss bonus, but Mouse Sports are fully equipped with a double orb setup, which you just can't afford now. And no timeouts. They're buying in the freeze time. Yeah. It's, it's ended. What is, what They're out. They're all out of timeouts. They've already used them all. Oh, God, you're right. Charging down middle. Hunter wants to take matters into his own hands. It's something we've seen. May run in the family. Nico likes to charge down middle. This time he's going to opt for short with that MAC-10. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, and oh, already the nade damage continues. The woes for G2. Carrigan with a very aggressive stance. We saw Breezy experimenting with this before. Re-smoking. And hoping that someone wants to go gray screen through it. They won't be doing that just that. Not going to be taking risks like that in the, well, potentially last round of this series. No one wants to be the first death. What's Carrigan holding? Is that a single flashbang? Not going to get him far. Here we go. Multi flash and free fire, and Carrigan and Voxic have down. locked down long. Kenny, fortunately, does give G2 just a glimmer of hope if he can find Voxic, but he's not missing anything at the moment. 26 frags and counting. Hunter in quite the off angle. He's dropped down off short. There's two there. Frozen's watching it as well, though, and he should be able to catch it. Yeah, no escape, and Mouse Sports will do it cleanly. Does